first time Kevin Hart and I met was when he summoned me to his office like a mogul would to a, uh, you know, an up and coming talent. Yeah. Um, and he brought me onto his couch and made me wait 10 minutes. Yeah. And then uh, he told me that he was, uh, I was not his first choice or yeah. even his third. No. Um, but that he would settle to work with me. Honesty is key. Yeah, and uh, and from there we had a very honest relationship yeah. where yep. it was the beginnings of a prosperous relationship. We wanted Jack Black. Yeah, they couldn't get him scheduling conflict, no. so they settled for me, and I was very grateful for that. Yeah, you know it's always weird when you uh, think you're a big enough star to get whoever you want, and then those people you want turn you down. <laughs> so you uh, so kind of went, kind of flipped on yeah. me. Yeah, kind of flipped yeah. on me. But uh, Josh came up. And, uh, <laughs> We were at the bottom of that barrel. At that time, it was the last It was either Josh Shore's no movie. Yeah, it was Josh Shore, movie doesn't get made. <laughs> no, I mean, right. right off the bat, we had an immediate we chemistry. Knew. We, 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 we knew. We were immediately friends, and we immediately connected comedically on camera. Like, it was just one of those things where we jumped onto each other's rhythm, and, and when we weren't laughing, we were having a lot of fun and putting it and You know what else I say? Like, I know we're being silly joking around now, but the one thing that, that stood out about Josh is... You know the way he broke down the material. You know before before we got to filming, when just we were going through the scripts and we were meeting with Jeremy and just kind of doing scenes and you know his input. He always had input about his character, about Doug and this and would he be doing this? Well, shouldn't he do this at the time? It was always thinking so many steps ahead, and that comes from a guy who cares about his craft and you know has knowledge uh, in this particular field. So that's something that I noticed um, off the back. And when we got to set. That basically showed me that, you know, this guy is not going to be prepared when he comes to set. But, you know, he's he's thinking so far along the lines that he wants to keep his character. He wants to make sure that he's, his guy's on pace. His guy makes sense. And that made me go, okay, let me make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do because I don't ever want to fall behind what he's doing. So he kind of made me raise my game a little bit. And that's what you want. You want that out of your co-star, out of whoever's alongside you in a film. You want them to make you better. And in this case, you know, a lot of people aren't going to believe this. But Josh made me better, and you know I know that people wouldn't believe why, it because why they believe it, well, because I'm I'm good now. But so that it's hard for me mm -hmm. to believe that, that somebody better, could come yeah, in. I understand and make me better, but Josh made me better, so I take my Thank hat you, off to you I guess. Okay. for that. Yeah. There, uh, no, there were reading the script. We knew that we were going to have certain things that we had to do, uh, <laughs> including a football game, but. What's a paragraph on page becomes three days on set mm -hmm. in cold rain, in mud, in crazy um, environments with Hall of Fame football players. But, but the funniest physical stuff. I mean, Plunkett, Plunkett in that wheelchair on a football it's incredible. field is yeah. unbelievable. Afion on that football field. We had this. We had truly one of the most incredible ensembles I've ever worked with. And down Ken Howard, Ken, Ken Howard, everybody down to like. Number 90 on the call sheet mm -hmm. was brought their A game. And that's what makes this film so special. And it's it's got, each of these characters on the page was funny, but it's got this unique sensibility that each of these amazing actors brought to their roles that takes it to a whole other level. Where Josh comes and gives the speech at the wedding that we go to for like training. I'm just taking you right. to nod and smile. And the guy goes to give the best man speech. Yeah, Josh Pat. Josh Pat. And he rips up the speech. And he tries to freestyle it. And he's like, <laughs> he starts talking about his brother dying, what he died. And that was from. nothing on the page. I don't nothing. even know if that existed. It wasn't scripted. It was him. Like he was just supposed to go in and rip up a speech and try to do something and go forget it, buddy. Wolverines and give yeah. him a hug. And they let this guy go. And when I tell you, he he was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Man. Phenomenal in that little space. We have so many of those moments in this movie, which is why we have a great movie. This is a hard rated R film, man. I'm excited about it. This is my first rated like hard R. This is a big deal. A big deal. So I, I really want people to go and see it because I guarantee you it's so much more than what they're expecting. So many people are expecting just that that wedding is it's like comedy, a, yeah. you know, but it's so much more than that. It's we not were talking that. about it earlier. It's so much more, so many levels to it. I think this movie is so unbelievably funny and, and you know, we we keep watching it. We've had the opportunity to go to a couple of, of screenings mm -hmm. around the country to see audiences responding and every time you know, we leave these screenings, people are literally on the floor yes. laughing. And I think it's got, uh, it begins with us, but it, like I said, it's just, it's got so many unexpected twists and turns throughout it. Uh, whether it's physical comedy, whether it's the comedy of our journeys, 
uh, whether it's the comedy of these nine groomsmen who each one is more eccentric than the next. Um, it, it's one of those movies a la Bridesmaids or Hangover that brings the hard funny mm -hmm. in a way that you're not expecting, especially against the backdrop of it being a wedding movie, mm -hmm. which it, that term wedding comes with certain, you know, expectations. This is going to be kind of tame. Or it's gonna, This movie is anything but tame. It's gritty. It's out there. It's right. crazy. And it goes down the rabbit hole. And I think that unexpected element is what's making audiences embrace it so much and, and giving them the time of their lives in these theaters. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!